Hey, this is my part two on uh, the return of Cooler. Um, last night, I had um, I had like tape or I had put in the tape and um, recorded like the first, basically just the first part of the movie, because that's the only part that I really need to talk about. The rest of the movie was fine, like nothing wrong with it. I didn't see anything out of the ordinary. Just the beginning of this movie. And I'll just basically just tell you everything that I remember about the beginning of the movie. First off, Dende was not in the original one. In fact, hold on. Let, let me go back in the day. I only saw this movie three times back in the day before I bought it on tape in 2009, I want to say. I had only seen this movie three times and I saw it first at my grandma's house. I saw it at my mom's house. And lastly, I saw it at my friend Michael's house. And basically, um, yeah, I mean, I mean, I saw it enough times to remember it, basically, like. Like. The beginning part was more memorable for me than the rest of the movie, and I'll tell you why. Because um, I had gotten an argument with my friend over this over the beginning of this movie because of how it started, and I still remember that to this day. And I had actually been um, I had actually been talking about this for now an entire decade because I said two thousand nine and this is two thousand twenty one. So like. Yeah, that would be a decade and two years, <laughs> or twelve years, shortly, and I meant to put it in short. So I'll just get into what what exactly what I remember. I remember when the movie started, the Macchio star or Macchio star. I mean Getty, the 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 big Getty star. I'm sorry, uh, it um. It did its thing and whatnot. Um, Namek, like 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 the whole beginning of the movie, the whole beginning, it wasn't like no two minutes like how you see on this tape. It was more like ten minutes long, and I can tell you everything in detail. Like 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 that's why I said this is like my personal Mandela effect. I don't know how many people remember this, but I'm about to just lay it on you right now. When the movie started, the Getty star or the big Getty star, it it basically tried to swallow the planet and um, they started up a roundup campaign. And like basically all these robots came out of the big Getty star and they started um, snatching up Namekians and um, the, the Namekians is looking around like. Like, oh, is that a solar eclipse? No, not at this time of the year. That part was correct, but when, the, when but but I'm I'm talking about like like when it landed on the planet, these robots came out. They start rounding up all kinds of nemics, like millions of them, maybe. Oh, okay, I exaggerated, maybe hundreds. But anyway, they start doing that, and uh, let me see. They start doing that, and. Of course, the Namics are scared. Some of them fought off some of the robots, some, but there was too many of them, and they were super, super, like super duper strong. And one Namic, and this is the part that I got in an argument with my friend over, my friend Michael, and he'll vouch for me. Like, I, I just wish I could put him in this video because he would vouch for me. Yeah, we did get an argument over this. Um, I was low key narrow minded back in the day, like low key ignorant. I, w I wasn't really, I meant I did, but I really didn't um, see two or maybe even three points of view. I was just like that. I just got to tell the truth on myself. But that ain't the point. Or, okay, that ain't the point I'm trying to get at, like, like what I'm trying to talk about. We got in an argument over this because on one, on one scene, as they're fighting the robots, but they're they only beat like maybe two of them, 
because they were so strong, it was hard to beat them. But they did beat like two of them. And the Namekians, they still got captured in big nets and they were being dragged. And some of them were in chains and they were walking across the planet to get to the big Getty star. And one Namekian um, broke out of his chains and um, and he said, ha ha, he said, um, he said, you fools. And he said, I now serve Lord Cooler now, which was kind of which was kind of strange to me that, that he even said Lord Cooler, because I'm thinking, how did he know those robots were, were from Cooler? When when they said nothing about Cooler, it, it, that part was weird. But either way, like, I don't know, maybe at some point, maybe at some point they said, you know, uh, we work for Lord Cooler. I don't remember that that part. I just remember when he broke out of the chains and he said, ha ha, I work for Lord Cooler now. And he did something like this. And the robots just looked at him like nothing. Like, dude, I don't even care. Like, you don't serve Lord Cooler. And then they hit him over the head. Um, um, and then he gets back up. And, like, he was like, no, I serve Lord Cooler. And he even takes a, a energy a energy ball and shoots one of his fellow Namekians and kills him. I still remember that. And the robots are still looking like, dude, we're, we're robots. We don't have hearts. We don't have feelings. That was basically like, like, like the love they showed him. Like, no love. It was no feeling, which is natural. It's a, it's a robot. So, like, so, like, they just look at him like, what are you doing? And then the Namekians look at him like, dude, what are you doing? Like, like you're our brother. They just look at him like, What? And, and and he and he's he's like the he said no I serve Lord Cooler, and then they come and hit him over the head again, and then the robot kills him, like like the whole beginning of this was ten minutes long, at least it might have been longer than that, I can't I can't remember for certain but I just remember it was at least ten minutes long, but I can't remember if. It was longer than 10 minutes, but it was definitely at least 10 minutes long, at the very least. Could have been a little longer. But yeah, that's exactly what I remember about the beginning of this movie. And um, there is one more part, actually, because I had I had filmed the second part. And this, like I said, Dende was nowhere in this movie. Nowhere. I seen this movie three times back in the day and I did not see his face. Not once. He did not ask Goku, hey, can you please go to New Nami and save my people? No, it was nothing like that. And it, it, it was strange because it started out where it said Goku and them was going on a much needed vacation before their fight with the androids. Now, I don't know what like which androids they were talking about. I didn't know if they meant movie universe or in the universe that we know of Dragon Ball Z because I know the movies aren't canon to the cartoon. So we don't really, we'll never really, I, I was thinking to myself, I'll never really know what they were actually talking about. But anyway, uh, the the second part I wanted to say, which, um, which was um, crazy, was the part where of course where they were going to Namek and that that was it. They um they um it was um they were going on vacation. Then they didn't ask them to go there. I I think I think it was something like the Namics invited them. They invited them to come on their their uh planet for vacation. And it just so happened in the background if you notice, when Goku and them are finished talking, Yajirobe shouts out, if I knew this was going to be a family vacation, I would have kept my sensu beans and stayed home. That sounds strange, don't it? Think, think about it for a minute. 
If you're going to fight somebody, you're not going on vacation. But vacation is exactly what I remember. They were going on vacation. So why would he say that if it's not a vacation? They're going there to save Dende's people. I just be finding like little stuff that just bugs me. And then this bugs me because this beginning is like three minutes long. And I remember 10 minutes or maybe even more. Like, and I remember, and let me get into uh, me and my friend Michael getting into an argument because like I said, I was a little narrow minded. So I thought I wasn't really thinking and we got in an argument over the Namekian turning on his own people. And I said, Michael, Namekians are good. They would never do that. And he had to remind me. He said, well, remember King Piccolo? He was evil. And I said, no, but King Piccolo, or um, he was influenced by the wars and tro atrocities on Earth. He said, it doesn't matter, Carlos. He said, you, you further prove my point. Anybody can be evil. Any race. It doesn't matter your race. And that goes especially for us humans. But we're talking about Dragon Ball Z. Um, I got mad and we were arguing over that. I said, no, I said, I said, he didn't stand up for his brothers. And Michael said, well, he's a traitor, period. He was like, there, he said, what do you, what else do you want me to say? He said, he said, Carl, anybody's capable of being evil. And I, I had to let that sink in. I had to think for a while, like, oh my God, he's right. It took me a minute, but I finally got it. And like I said, yeah, that just made me mad about this because like, I was just thinking to myself, oh my God, he's a Namekian. And I, I went off King Kai's logic. Namekians are good. And, and, and he was like, no, anybody can be good. Anybody can be evil. It's your choice. And like I said, I had to think about that for probably about a year. And then I finally got it. I was like, oh yeah, yeah, you know, he's right. But anyway, about the movie, that's basically why... Uh, just those two parts that was the reason I wanted to do a video on this movie. It's a really good movie. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Uh, I'm sure everybody's seen it by now, but I'm sure some people haven't. So please check it out. It's a really good movie. Tape, DVD, Blu-ray, doesn't matter. It's a good movie. Yep. And yeah, let me know if you remember something different about this movie or another movie. There's a lot of movies out there that I remember different stuff about. So if there is anything you want me to do, I'll be glad to do it. Just let me know. Um, hit me up down in the uh, comment. Uh, like it if you did. If you don't, that's okay. You can hit dislike. I'm cool. It, I, it's all learning experience. So if you tell me you didn't like this video, I, I, I accept it. If you like it, I accept it. Okay. Thank you.